everybody, it's Sarah from The Style Vlog, and today I'm going to show you how I take this very one-dimensional flat face and turn it into this contoured face full of life and dimension. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, I like to think about what areas of my face I want lightened to sort of come toward you, and what places I want darkened to sort of fade into my skin. So typically that means I'll want my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my under eyes, and my chin lightened, and then I'll want the underside of my cheekbones the edges of my forehead near my hairline, the edges of my nose here, under my lip, and then on my jawline, that's what I want to be contoured or darkened. So highlighting your skin doesn't always mean that you want it super shiny and sparkly. It can also mean you just want it to be lighter and stand out more. So that's what I typically do first. So my first step, I'm going to take a concealer that's a couple shades lighter than my skin tone and apply it where I'd like my face to be lighter. So I'm going underneath my eyes. on my forehead, on my chin, and then on the bridge of my nose. Then I'll sometimes do a little bit in here. Okay, so as wild as this looks, this is where I want my face to be highlighted or a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all out with my beauty sponge. my face looks so much more alive and awake. All right, next up, let's do the contouring and make those areas darker that I mentioned to you earlier. So I really love this Anastasia Fawn color, so that's what I'm going to be using for today. Okay, for my cheekbone contouring, so I like to just feel where my cheekbone is. You can feel with your fingers on your face, and I like to just apply the contour to the bottom portion of my cheekbone here, and I never like to take it past the middle of my eye here. And I only place the brush down on my face over here. I don't place it down here and go up because then you'll get a big splotch right here. So I typically like to just take it here and drag it down just in little short strokes. You see, I'm going just on the bottom portion of my cheekbone right here. All right, so looking at me from the front like you're doing right now, you can definitely tell which cheek I've contoured and which one I haven't. It just makes my cheekbones look a little bit higher and gives my face a little bit more dimension and depth. Okay, so both cheekbones are now contoured. I like this look so much better than no contour at all. <laughs> okay, so now let's move to my forehead. So I'm just going to go around the edges of my forehead down to my temples, kind of like this. That will really help this part of my face stand out and kind of blend back the edges of my face, which is the look I'm going for here. And again, you can see which side I've already contoured and which one I haven't. You can see how this is starting to draw all the attention toward my features that I want highlighted, such as my eyes and my lips and my nose, rather than the edges of my face. It's giving me a lot more dimension, which I love. Okay, and next, I also like to do the bottom portion of my jawbone right here. So I did my cheekbones, and then I put the highlight in the middle, and then now I'm doing my jawbone. I'm just going on the edge and blending down. Okay, so I have contoured my jawbone on this side, but not on this side. Okay, so the largest sections of my face are contoured. Now I'm going to take a small blender brush. I think this is maybe for eyeshadow, but I'm gonna use this for my nose and underneath my lip here to contour. Okay, so I'm using the exact same contouring shade and I'm gonna go on the edge of my nose here all the way up and hook it to my eyebrow. So the point of this is to slenderize my nose and give it a little bit more definition. Okay, so see how that made my nose look more slender and gave it a little bit more depth? I also apply it on the bottom side here near my nostrils but I'm very careful to avoid the actual tip because we're gonna put highlighter on that at the end. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna go right underneath my lip right here. And that will just draw a little bit more attention to my lip. Okay, so here is all of my highlighting and contouring finished, except I am going to go in with a shimmery highlighter here in just a minute. So if you'll compare 
compare this to before when I was just wearing foundation, my face has much more depth and dimension. Your eyes should be drawn to my eyes, my lips, and my cheekbones now instead of just this one dimensional mess. Okay, so next I am going to add a little bit of blush. I'm going to use this medium pink shimmer color. Okay, there's nothing on my brush, so I'm going to show you exactly where I apply this. I'm going to apply this blush directly above my contour, just right here. And then I'll put a highlight on top of that here in a minute. I know I used to make this mistake all the time, and I used to apply blush to the apples of my cheeks, but you don't really want to do that. That kind of brings your face down, makes your cheeks look a lot bigger than you actually want them to look. So now I just simply apply it right here above my contour. Alright, so I hope you can see that this blush did not bring my cheeks down at all. My cheeks still look very lifted and your eyes are still drawn to the correct parts of my face. So this side has the blush and this side does not. So I guess I would say I wouldn't bring your blush down past the corner of your eye here. You don't want any blush in this middle part of your face. So the blush I used does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so that's why you're seeing a little bit of shine. However, I'm going to go on top of it with the highlighter here in a minute anyway. Alright, and lastly, it's highlighter time. I love highlighter time. It's probably my favorite. I'm going to go in with this slight champagne shimmery highlighter here. And for this shimmery highlighter, I like to think of where the sun would bounce off of my face if I stepped outside right now. So that would typically be the tops of my cheekbones, my brow bone underneath and on top here, the tip of my nose, my chin, and then my cupid's bow right here on my lip. So let's get shimmering. This is my favorite. <laughs> On this part as well, you don't want to go down any farther than you took your blush. So can you see how this side shimmers and this one doesn't? It does a little bit from the blush, but not as much. So that's basically right where you want to apply this highlighter. Ooh la la. I love highlight, guys. <laughs> Next, I'm going underneath my brow bone as well. And right above. You want to hit the very tip of your nose. That's why we were really careful not to put contour on the very tip of our nose because we want it highlighted. Next, I'm gonna take it to the Cupid's bow on my lips here. Ooh la la, I'm so shiny. I love it so much. If you wanted to, you could also apply a little bit to your chin here and your forehead. I usually leave those out because I'm happy with my highlight everywhere else, but you definitely could do that if you wanted to. Also, typically with my eyeshadow, I'm also making this area, my crease here, a contour. And then I'll use a shimmer shade on my tear duct and my eyelid to kind of highlight that area as well. But I typically use eyeshadow products for that instead of my face contouring products. Now you can really see the areas that I made lighter and darker with our contouring and highlighting. So if I wasn't planning on putting on any eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, etc., I probably wouldn't have gone with this heavy of a contour and highlight. However, I'm going to go put on those products now and come back so you can see my full face all put together. So I feel like this look really came together nicely. Once I filled in my eyebrows, I put on some eyeshadow, mascara, and lipstick. So if I wasn't going to apply any lipstick or eye products, I would definitely go with a much lighter contour if I was going to do a contour at all. However, I feel like this heavier contour looks really great with a full face of makeup. I will link absolutely everything I used in this video down below in the description. And next up, you definitely want to check out my last video where I did a mask makeup tutorial. I show you how to do your makeup while also wearing a mask that we have to wear so often these days. So I'm going to link that for you right up here. Make sure you check it out, and I can't wait to see you there. Bye, guys.